Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to go over how to send and receive emails with your global folders or data logs, how to open them, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, it seems as if there's quite a bit of confusion on how to do this. So the first thing I want to explain to everybody is when you click on your V5 software, it populates this screen. When you hit open global file, this right here is a directory of your actual computer, okay? It has nothing to do with the actual software, doesn't have anything to do with Holly, this is just inside of your computer. So in order to navigate through your computer, you can either click go up one level, and you'll notice it continues to go back, keeps removing more and more folders until you get back to C drive, or you can choose or create a new directory and you can, this is, this is your computer, right? So you just click through here until you find where you've downloaded things to. So um, that's when you're in the software. But let's look at something from an email, and uh, I'll show you how to send one through an email and how to receive one and uh, open it through an email. So if we go in here, here's your email. Just empty that. Uh, if we want to send a new message to somebody. Okay, if we want to send it, we need to attach our global folder. So we're going to browse this computer. So um, your computer, this PC, right? Your computer, when you downloaded your V5 software or V4, whatever it is, you've got a directory somewhere that you downloaded it to. So sometimes it's in downloads, sometimes it's in documents. Mine is in documents, Holly. I've got more than one type of software on this computer in the same folder, so V5. And then right here is Global Files. So double click Global Files and you should have your base cal, custom cal, and then any other, um, you know, any other folders that you may have made. So we'll go into custom cal here. And I've got a couple different folders that I've made, but your, your factory, you know, from Holly directory will have four GM and Mopar. Um, so let's look at, uh, we'll look at forward, and if we wanted to send this global folder, we would click here. If we want to send multiple, you know, you just, you, you can highlight a couple of them, right? So this is what we want to send. Um, you, you literally just go through until you find where you have downloaded your software at. So when you download software, it should ask you, but if you don't know, the easiest way to do it is go on to here, file, Open global file. If you look here, see users, my name, documents, Holly, uh, HEF 5v5, and then global files. So we know that Holly has been downloaded in my documents section of the computer. So that's how you would send something, right? So you'd attach it. Let's send um, this one to uh, I don't know, Katie. And what we do is just say, hey, Katie, this is, you know, whatever global folder that I want you to look at, yada, yada. Send it. Now, if we look at, if we want to go ahead and look at something that somebody has sent to us via email, uh, you know, go into your inbox and here, this person sent me an email. I don't think he, uh, I don't think he minds if we look at this. But, um, but anyway, what you would do is you would click on this, right? So it's going to download and it's zipped. So right here, this is a Microsoft Excel. Let's extract all. Select down a, a designation or a destination. Extract. Oh, he sent the wrong type of file. As you can tell, I've got a ton of uh, global folders here. He sent the wrong file. That's okay. Let's go into somebody else's email that's sent to me. Um, yeah, he shouldn't have sent this as a .zip. So I'm sure I got some more of them here. Uh, here we go. Oh, one of my buddies decided to uh, send me this. So let's uh, let's open up this one here, right? So. Here's the .hefi file, and here's the .dl file. This is the down the data log, right? So we would click it, and it populates here. Now, if we want to open this, 
Typically what everybody does is they click on this and they go, why didn't it open? Don't do that. Go into V5, File, Open Global File, and we know we, we downloaded it to Downloads. So up, 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 and there's Downloads. And we've got everything that I've downloaded, you know, from people that have sent me stuff. Um, I think this is the past couple months. But uh, we find what we want, and that's what he sent me. We open it. Now, there's the global folder that was just emailed to me, and we can, you know, navigate through it and look at it. If we wanted to open up the data log, we'd do the same thing. Um, you know, you download it first and then go into <clears throat> V5, open data log, and here we are again. We're back in the computer. You know, we're actual in your actual desktop or laptop downloads and we search through until we find what he sent me and we click it right there it is open and there we go we've got a data log so hopefully that answers some people's questions on how to actually find and send emails back and forth to each other uh with with global files and with data logs and um of course, whenever you whenever you do this, what, what I like to do is um, I'll I will if I if I'm working on something for somebody, whatever they sent it to me, right? So it'll say Darlington first pass, right? So say I made some changes to this thing here. Say we we changed it from this to 10 psi on the break, very minimal change, but notice it says unsaved. Uh, we'll go in here in a file, save global file, and I would change it to Darlington first pass, and then typically what I do is like Devin, you know, revision one, and uh, and then you save, so it'll be saving it in the same folder, okay, but it'll have my revision in it, all right. So if you want to save it to a different folder, and you're in your laptop here, so you're, all you're doing is going through your laptop. If you want, you can save it to the desktop, Darlington first pass, Devin revision one save now where are we right there so now if we wanted to send this back to somebody bingo bango reply attach whoops attach browse this computer we go over here to desktop darlington first pass devon revision one open there we go and we're ready to send so it's pretty simple. Uh, you just have to understand that when you go in the software, you're actually going into your, when you're opening something, you're actually going into your computer. And this is, this little help window right here is uh, pretty helpful in order to die, you know, kind of figure out where you've got stuff safe to. Hopefully this answered some questions for y'all. Hopefully, uh, you know, guys like, like Los Vasquez will be able to just send you this link and, uh, and tell you here, this is how you send it to me. So, all right, have a good one.